morning. Welcome to sunny Penzance, which is not sunny at all. It's very overcast, very dull, very misty, and uh, there's going to be rain until about lunchtime, then it should pick up, which hopefully it does, because Jordan's been sent a picture of the base that the customers built, and look in the background, the sea. So hopefully the sun comes out and we can see that properly. We are staying at a lovely little place called the Engine Inn. It's a very quirky, very quaint little pub inn thing, and we're in our own little outbuilding, which I'll show you some videos of that later, because it's really, really nice. Only downside is, there's no signal whatsoever literally nothing completely off the beaten track and they've got Wi-Fi in there but it doesn't actually reach 20 30 yards across the yard to the outbuilding so it's kind of like you're lost without Wi-Fi you really are got nothing else to do but what I'm gonna do now is go and drop kick Jordan out of bed so we can get to the job and crack on in sunshine hopefully later on lovely Well, it's a great start, but that's me being very sarcastic indeed, because we're here at the job, which took us quite a while to find, to be honest, because there is literally no signal at all, which is quite worrying when you've got things to do and you can't communicate with anybody. But um, yeah, we finally got to the address, but the lorry driver with the cabin is not here because he put a sat uh, postcode into his sat nav, which took him somewhere else, which was two hours away from here. Now we're waiting for him. He was supposed to be in here five minutes ago, uh, but he's still not here. But Whoa, this is going to be a long, this might have to go into a third day because the trek from here, the driveway, up the garden to take the cabin is a long way. So I'm going to overlay a clip that I've taken walking up the garden and uh, you will see how far it is. Roll VT. <laughs> As you can see, it's uh, far, far, very far. There is another way which the customer has said that we could use, which is further up the lane, but that looks even further. So it's got to go up through the garden here. And as you saw, there's a lot of weed control membrane down. So if it rains, which it might do, it's spitting, it could be a very long slip and slide. But we can't get the cabin up there till it arrives. Honestly, that is killing me. Seriously, not that. That's a beautiful view of the sea, which later on, hopefully, we'll go and have some fish and chips on the seafront. I don't think there's any sand or anything, but I'm not a child, so I'm not bothered anyway. But honestly, that is killing. My calves are on fire. We haven't even started building this thing at all yet. We've still got so much more stuff to bring up, but that can stay there for now because we've got the stuff that we need. Plus, the insulation and LSB and the shingles are not arriving until tomorrow. But um, it is what it is. Anyway, the call has been put into HQ. This is going to go into an extra day because there's no way we'll be able to do this. It, it is a two day build if it was delivered there and built there. But it's not. It's ridiculous. So have a cup of tea and then um, build some building stuff. Yeah. See? <laughs> This is the second to last log, and then it gets heavy because we've got to go and get the apex pieces and start the roof.
Oh, God, that's enough. Knock it on the head. Done. That was a hard day. We didn't know anything about this job when we got here. Obviously, we knew what we were building, but we didn't know it was like 150 metre walk uphill. And that's actually really, really... My, my calves are killing me. Absolutely killing me. So uh, we're going to knock it on the head. We haven't done too bad. We actually only bought up materials we needed to get to kind of roof height. So first thing in the morning, get the purlins in, get the roof boards on, and then crack on. But we've still got to go and get a load more material and carry it up the hill. So I'm going to go down that hill for one more time. Maybe two, because there's quite a bit of kit. Cover up materials out front, and then we're going to head that way towards the blue stuff. And apparently there's a very, very nice fish and chip shop down there. Very nice indeed. So uh, we're going to go and test that out and sit and have a look out to sea. So we'll pick you up in the morning on day three. Day three? Day three? Day three, I think. See you in the morning.